Hello, Mike Pertle here again on my soapbox uh, to regale you with reviews from my latest work of crime fiction, Killing Karma. I'm happy to tell you that the book is receiving ratings and reviews at a regular pace, uh, which means it's selling steadily. That's a great thing for the book, and nice to hear for the author. The first review is a four-star by Mallory from Goodreads. Mallory says, I'm so excited that this ended up being my first giveaway win. I thoroughly enjoyed this book, and enjoyed the setting of Detroit. This story follows Peter and Claire, Teresa and Detective Harlow. Peter is working through some PTSD and Claire stumbles into his bookshop and they briefly discuss regression therapy. The book then goes through Peter's past lives and how he is to deal with them and his PTSD in the present, Teresa's current life and Detective Harlow's murder investigation into the killings that are surrounding Detroit. I thought this was a well thought out story, well written, and just enough of a twist that I personally second guessed who I thought was the killer. Definitely check it out if you're into thrillers. Thank you Mallory, I appreciate the recommendation. Uh, Mallory mentions that she won the, uh, the book in Goodreads giveaway. The giveaway is a great opportunity for authors to get eyes on their books. And uh, last I checked, nearly 4,000 readers had uh, placed Killing Karma in their to read folders because of it something I think all indie authors should do. The next review comes from Reed Z and also on Goodreads. It's another four-star review coming from Susie. It's a bit extensive, so I'll, I'll read just enough to give you a sense of it. Um, you can always find the full review if you visit the book's page on Goodreads, Reed Z, or Amazon, or other booksellers like Kobo and uh, Barnes & Noble, etc. Also on my own website, uh, it has all of the reviews with links. So, Susie says this about Killing Karma, titled, A Gripping Concept, A Romance, Plus a Detective Story, Solving Past Lives, Motivated Crimes. Last year, Peter was a witness and participant in the nightmarish pullout of U.S. forces from Kandahar in 2021. Now, managing a bookshop in Detroit, he struggles with PTSD, avoiding anything that might provide a trigger. Counseling helps, but not enough. At night, he's right back there on the tarmac at Kandahar. I'm just going to skip some of the middle uh, stuff as it's basically a summary of the book. Uh, Susie ends her review with, This is two stories. The first, a romance, the progress of which is affected by the couple's past lives. And the second, a detective story about a serial killer who is motivated by events in past lives. The interconnection between these two elements makes for an excellent plot. I really love the concept of crimes being motivated by karma left over from past lives. So Susie liked it, uh, and to my benefit, she even offered a few grammatical changes uh, for me to consider in a private note. Uh, Susie's a respected historical fiction author and editor. Well, that's two more uh, four-star reviews for you, and uh, so I do hope you'll give Killing Karma a shot as well. Remember, I'll read your review here if you leave me one. Thanks for listening and happy reading. I'm so excited that this, I'm so, the book goes through Peter's and Detective Harlow's murder investigation into the killings and Detective Harlow's murder investigation. The book then goes through Peter's past lives and how he is to <clears throat> the giveaway is a great opportunity for uh, authors to get their eyes. And the second, a detective story about a serial. <laughs> Last year, Peter was a participant in. Mm. I really love, the, I really love the concept. I really love the concept of crimes being 